Special Education Referral Process. Step 1. Child is identified. The child is suspected of having disability that may require special education and related services. We are required to identify, locate, and evaluate all children with disabilities in the state who need special education and related services. But when to refer? A child should not be referred for a special education evaluation until after the general education program has modified. The child's program and documented that the modification have been implemented and have not been successful in meeting the child's needs. Referral or Request Evaluation A school professional may ask that the child be evaluated to see if he or she has a disability. Parents may also contact the child's teacher or the other school professional to ask that their child be evaluated. Request for Evaluation The request may be verbal or in writing. Written parental consent is needed before the child may be evaluated. Evaluation Timeline IEP meeting must be held within 60 days. The district receives written parental consent for the assessment. Step 2. Child is evaluated. The evaluation must assess the child in all areas related to the child's suspected disability. Evaluation result used to determine the eligibility of the child for special education. Eligibility A child must meet the criteria. Step 3. IEP meeting is held and eligibility is determined. IEP meeting of a group of qualified professionals where the parents review the child's evaluation results. Child with disability as defined by criteria. Step 4. Service are provided. The TCO staff make sure that the child's IEF is implemented at its was written. Parents are given a copy of the IEF. The child's teacher provide accommodation, modification, and support. Step 5. Process is measured and reported to parents. The child's progress toward the annual goals is measured, as stated in the IEP. 
parents are regularly informed of their child's progress and whether that progress is enough for the child to achieve the goals by the end of the year. Progress reports must be provided to parents. Step 6. The IEP is reviewed. The child's IEP is reviewed by the IEP team at least once a year. Step 7. Child is evaluated. At least every two years, the child must be evaluated. This evaluation is often called a trial. It's for us to find out if the child continues to be a child with disability, as defined by IDEA, and what the child's educational needs are. However, the child must be evaluated more often if conditions warrant or if the child's parent or teacher asks for a new. Thank you for watching.